What's up my meatballs, it's Aaron Nimar. Welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. In this episode, we're going to begin a brand new world. So if you guys could drop a like before we start, that would be amazing. And I kind of lied just now because we're not going to start a new world right away. The first thing we need to do is come back here to Gelatin Beach because that is Gelato Beach. I guess Gelatin and Gelato are both foods. But uh, we've got another uh, secret shine to get. This one is sort of weird. and I don't exactly know which missions it's in, so I'm hoping I picked the right one. Um, and it's sort of different from the remaining, uh, the, like, the other secret shines in the worlds we found so far. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how I mean. Um, come over here, and Gelato Beach is the only one not completely filled, aside from the 100 coin shines for each of those. Um, Gelato Beach is missing one, and that's because the other ones have multiple secret levels that have red coin shines. But this one only has one secret level, so that means only one red coin shine, which means there's one level shy of a, a secret shine, I suppose. So what we need to do is come over here, and this one is like really stupid. You'd have no idea how to do this, I don't think. Like there's no real sign of you being, all right, luckily it's on this mission. All right, so basically we need to spray this dune, bud, and it becomes this uh, little crevice, and then we need to start spraying as fast as possible. And we will spray it before like it rises up all the way, and that shine will spawn. Now I have no idea how you are supposed to know to get that. Like, that's just, like, some of these shines, it's like, okay, maybe I need to talk to one, you know what, I'm gonna come over here and talk to this person and see what he says. All right, so he just talked about the sandbird and the tower and everything. He's got little to do with that shine, so I have no idea how you're supposed to know to get this. It seems like just one of those few shines that are just completely out of nowhere. There's like two or three of those in the game that are like that. But there we go, shine number 41, and we have no problems with that one. That one is just, I, I knew about it, so I knew we needed to go and get it, so I went and got it. Otherwise, you really wouldn't, like, I just, I seriously, I keep saying it, but I don't know how you would know that that shine sprite was there. Like, you could, you could, like, drop that dune bud down and still not know that that shine was there. You'd have to, like, randomly spray and hope that it, it like, something happened. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so now we can start the brand new world, which we opened up last time. Uh, it's that red pipe just above where all of the flood nozzles are. Uh, where the pineapple was, and we ate the pineapple with Yoshi, so that world opened up. So now we can go ahead and jump on in and say hey to the weird paint world. I don't know how you're- like, how does everyone else get to places on this, uh... Get to places in this, like, this island, I guess. Do they go down that pipe too, and then, like... Travel? Is that how that works? Because I don't think that's how that works. But here we go, Sirena Beach, the Manta Storm. One of the, uh, the prettiest looking ones, and I guess we sort of time travel because now it's sunset. And we can see Peanut Park over there in the background. I think if we come over this way, we're gonna see... No, we can I thought we could maybe see another world. You can usually see at least one of the worlds from every other world, so... That's pretty cool, but... Let's focus on the Manta Storm. So it looks like there's a bunch of ink here. Let's talk to this guy. He seems important looking. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over. You can save me. I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant Manta shaped uh, thing showed up. It was this paper thin floating silhouette. It came and covered the hotel grounds in this electric goo. Then, oh, the horror. My beautiful hotel. My poor building. It sank in the middle of that awful ooze. Why me? Why? Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? What am I supposed to do? I can't just sit back and... <gasps> Ay! It's back! That, go that gossamer ghoul! Do something! And now this gigantic, weird manta ray thing is coming for us. And I have no idea why. I have no idea what this thing is actually supposed to be. Just that it leaves electric paint in the way. So basically, we want to spray all of this. This is going to be the main battleground, I guess you could say. Uh, it's got the water, so we can refill easily. And basically, we just want to use the uh, this trick for spraying this guy. And eventually, he will begin dividing into two if I can, like, spray him long enough. Alright, it looks like I'm going to... Oh, get out of the way. There we go, there we go. So, I think now it divided. Come on, move the... Why can't I move the camera? Alright. Yeah, so now it's, there's two of them. And basically, every time you spray it, it's going to... Uh, split into further... Uh, further manta rays. And then eventually have a million, billion, jillion of them swimming all around. And uh, I, I really don't move from this spot because you're usually so close to all of them anyway. Come on, man. That... That you, uh, you really don't need to, like, worry about 
worry about no thing, you know? Because they'll all come to you. All right, I'm no. Come on, what, are you kidding me? I'm low on health. I don't remember getting hit that much. Luckily, there's this over here to heal us up. No idea why there's no paint over here, but let's go. All right. Um. All right. I need to spray more of these guys. Need to spray more of them. All right. So now I'm at the. Come on! I switched nozzles. How could you do this to me? Give me that coin. I missed the coin. Luckily, I didn't get hit though. All right. But see, so yeah. Now they're turning at this. They're in their smallest form, and once all of them turn into their smallest form. So that means there's like one more manta ray left. Uh, that's in us. There it is. All right, so now they're all going to come after you. And this is where it actually gets rather easy because they're not all like swarming around you. They're actually swimming towards you. So you can sort of uh, like, you, you sort of have, know where they all are, I guess. Come here. No, no. No, no, no. All right. See, they are, they, you can see them coming from a mile away. So there we go. Uh, hopefully I can get it done on this tank of water. That would be awesome. Is that the last one? Is, there's gonna be one more, there he is. All right, and then that weird music happens and uh, we are done. And now the hotel is rising out of the ground for whatever reason, somehow, I don't know. We cleaned it up and it's like, this doesn't make any sense, but there we go. We are done with this mission. Hotel Delfino rises up, and I guess this is where all the guests st guests stay. And the hotel's given us a shine sprite. Oh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. And somehow all of the goop got cleaned up. I don't know how or why or where, but we did it. All right. I missed. Oh no, I missed again. Come on, oh, I'm out. It's the first time I think I ran out of water. There we go, got the shine sprite. Not a difficult mission in the slightest. The Hotel Lobby Secret. Let's go ahead and jump straight into Sirena Beach Episode 2. Here we go. This is one of the annoying ones, sort of like Peanut Park, where you have to like, there's like a sort of a hub area for the level where you do like two missions here, but so that like justifies the need for this. But almost every other mission happens inside of the hotel. So every time you need to come up to this guy and talk to him so you can go inside of the hotel. Like, so I guess it's even more annoying than Peanut Park because Peanut Park, you just walk through the entrance. And this one, you actually have to talk to the guy every time. So there we go. And there are booze everywhere. What What is, what is going on here? What is going on? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so basically there is a secret because every title that has secret in it is going to be a secret level. So basically I just spray these guys, turn them into platforms, and uh, the uh, secret is going to be that Boo's mouth. Come on, get up there. There we go, got up there. No problema. Oh, watch out for all these Boo's. This whole place is going to try and trick you and like all these Boo's are going to pop up. But there we go, inside of the secret, now we can just go. Oh, look at those mozzarella cheese uh, blocks. Look at all these mozzarella cheese blocks, man. And there's a watermelon block. There's actually a food base, a food base block this time, and there's not just, not just, just the ones I'm making. Are you kidding me? What? That's how we're gonna start this? I, how did that even happen? I don't even know how that happened. All right, let's try again. I have no idea like why that happened because I definitely jumped on top of these guys. Alright. No, 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 no. Like, see, that one hit me just now, and it didn't even, like, launch me backwards at all. Alright, but there's a one-up always in that block, so we can get, a uh, recovery, or, like, so we're always breaking even for, for this level. And now I basically gotta jump on these guys. I forget what they're called. Something stews. I can't remember, like, what these, what this type of enemy is called. They're, they're the Goombas of this game, basically. That's all you gotta know is that they're the Goombas of this game. I think they're in Mario World as well. Uh, Alright, so let's jump up here. And I guess we could break these guys and get a coin, maybe? No, okay, yeah, we do get a coin. Not worth it, though. Alright, mozzarella cheese, let's go. Keep on running. No, 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 no. Alright, see, that's the problem. If you jump and grab, like, you have to be very quick on getting back. Otherwise, you're, uh, gonna get messed up. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. We're good. All right, so now let's break this one and drop down on these stairs. No, 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 no. On these stairs and walk on this this moving little cog. No idea why this cog is here. It's one of Bowser Jr.'s building blocks, I guess. And we gotta be careful both here. My TV's color correction settings make it hard to tell where the edges start. Like the, the angles. All right, jump. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? I jumped. I didn't slide, I jumped. What? Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that? I went right through that. I went completely through that, and that should not have happened. Are you kidding me? All right, all right, we made it on this time, we made it on, and now I can very carefully walk across this thing and make it to the mozzarella on the other side. No, 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 no! Very carefully, very carefully, I need to jump! There we go, there we go, there we go, okay. Now this part's much easier. Because I can just do that. Oh, I was really worried I was going to fall. And that stew guy, Stan or something, I don't know. He's going to make me fall, so glad that didn't happen. And now it's time for the red coin challenge. All right, here we go. Let's do it. The red coin challenge. Not going to be difficult at all, I think. Just because we have Flood now and pretty much all of the challenge of this is gone when Flood is gone. And uh, there we go. Collect our one up just to be on the safe side. So here we go. Let's 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 travel on. Let's travel on, young friends. We can just completely avoid this section, but unfortunately, we cannot avoid having to break our blocks with our head every single time and falling down again. But now that we're up here, let's go ahead and hit the switch and begin our hunt for the eight red coins. All right. So four of them, I think, or three of them, I guess, from what I can see, are going to be on the mozzarella section here. And then they're gonna be three on the other side of the mozzarella section with no 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 why you do this. Well don't don't there we go, there we go. There we go. Alright, alright, alright. So now number four is down across this way. No! Alright, and number five is actually in a very weird spot. We have to drop down, turn, land on here, jump up. Alright, now we gotta melt this uh we gotta melt this ice, because this is supposed to be ice. I have no idea, like, what they were supposed to, like, that doesn't look like ice at all. But there we go, we got it, no problem. Alright, and now, let's go on the cog section. This is made a lot easier with Flood, because once it starts moving, after about one rotation, we can actually just spin jump and get over there. So, there we go. There we go, there's number six. Come on, man, don't do this to me. Alright, number seven. And we've got 30 seconds to collect number 8, but we gotta be careful because it's all the way down here. And as soon as the camera stops, we're gonna land on a mozzarella stick thing that's gonna melt away. So we gotta, we gotta make sure we don't die. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we are almost dead there. I love how I still call it mozzarella, even though I know for a fact it's sand. Final Shine, Sirena Beach, Mysterious Hotel Delfino, Episode 3. Um, the thing is, all of these ones for Sirena Beach are, like, really, really, uh, like, named vaguely, so I have no idea which one this could be. We could be going down to the casino, or we could be, like, having a, having a time up in the, the regular attic or something. I don't, come on, I do that every time. Stop it, stop, stop it, Mario. Stop it, Mario! Alright. Let's talk to him. Please come right in. Do I sense some reluctance? Come now, don't dawdle. Alright, and what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to- Actually, you know what? I do know what I'm supposed to be doing. So we're meant to just explore, sort of like Super Mario 64, figure out what to do. But, I know what to do. So jump up here, and we'll end up in some lady's bathtub. Hey, what's up, lady? I get a really creepy vibe from this weird painting. But you wanna know what I find any creepier than that? Imagining how you got in here. Yep, we are we are kind of creepy, but now let's go ahead and spray this thing and we can jump through it What a, what kind of magic is this imagine spraying something with water? What she say now? Nope nothing at all All right, so we can jump through and head on to the next room. There are ghosts in here. See this coins not moving It's a ghost So what we need to do is get into the next room So let's go ahead and make this thing spin and we gotta make it form a boo. Pretty much everything you wanna like form a boo. They really love a picture of themselves, don't they? Alright, that's gonna turn in to a boo. And it should open up. There we go. And now we got these floaty boo platforms in here again. So we can, uh... 
we can just jump right in here and then we can spray this like see it's a it's a big mystery and then we can spray this and I'm not entirely sure what we're meant to do after this no 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 don't land okay I was worried we we're gonna land into the blue coin um yeah no idea what we're meant to do after this actually I know we're, we can drop down on this but what is this going to give us there's a giant boo here but I'm like, I'm not sure what, what they want us to do. Is there, all right, I bet there's a pineapple. Aha, there is, okay. So I think there might be a Yoshi egg downstairs that needs the pineapple. And we basically need to find the pineapple and then give it, yeah, there he is. All right, get to him, there we go. All right, so now what we need to do is make our way to the attic. This is another one where, you, I mean, this one's more figure, like you're, you're able to figure it out more than the Gelato B secret shine we did earlier. Uh, basically, this is the shine we want, and so we need to get it through the attic. And I guess through exploration, you can find this one, like, eventually. But before, like, the one we did before, there's no way you're figuring that out, like, on your own. Like, by luck, maybe. Alright, so we need to basically, I think we need to make it to this, like, where those, co where those coins are specifically. So, let's grab this guy. Uh, and you can't do this without Yoshi, obviously, because you need him to suck up the ghost. Otherwise, they'll just sit there. And I think if we go around, we can drop down. There we go. And there it is. Yoshi doesn't die in this water for some reason. And we can go ahead and get this shine. The first shine with Yoshi, actually. There we go. Oh, he's such a... Oh, that's so nice. Yoshi is a good pal, a good friend. And there we go. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, hit that like button for me. That would be awesome. And I will see you back here for some more Super Mario Sunshine. We're going to finish up Serena Beach, hopefully, and then do some stuff. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you all later. Have a great day.